Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is She Shiroa Dome, and today is that day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Wase, 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 wase. Hey, today is another day. Ah, story moto moto. Thank you so much for your feedback on my last story that we made last week. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate. Thank you for the support you've given on to Boneless, Kevin Boneless. Ah man, nashukuru, nashukuru. Wase, wase, Kenyans are really hustling here and they're doing a good job. Now, today I'm bringing you to another person, yeah? Before I even tell you who this guy is, eh? Wacheni nuambie about this channel for the new people who are here first karibuni tena sana and feel at home welcome in this channel we share stories we do cooking we do lifestyle everything that is informative and helpful all about life quality and value so now the story today today we are going to be sharing a story of someone who is a somalia yeah mwenye atatuambia Somalia in it was Somalia, Somalia. So Junini, he's even going to introduce to us what exactly these people do. We say it's all about seeing something different and what you can do in life. Guys, kuna mambo mob sana wa Kenya wana do hapa. And now I am bringing one of the story of someone who is be, who has been doing something different. He has grown over. Yeah, mwenye atatuambia story yake. So tumemkujia hapa. That is what we are waiting. Sindio? Then we can know what next. So Take a seat and enjoy this. So, we have huh. uh, four types. Yeah? Uh -huh. One uh, sparkling, huh. red, white, and rose. Okay. Red, white, and rose. Yeah, red, white, rose, and sparkling. Yeah. Sire. So rose, twanza to after rose kwanza. Yes, what's up guys? We are back here guys. I'm telling you Niluambia lazima niwalete huyu mtu anaitwa Somalia. By yeah. this guy, tuambie, unaitwa nani? Ah, uh, naitwa Daniel Mwangi. Daniel Mwangi, karibu sana kwa sana, isho. Yeah. Isho tunaongeanga vitu zote ambazo zinaweza zikasaidia anyone. Anything that would help someone out there, any information. Yes. And so guys, yeah. I know you can see what's happening behind there. <laughs> yeah, it's just for for you to understand exactly who a Somalia is and what they do. This is why we have all this here and we will explain in detail. Sawa. So you stay tuned. Yeah. Are you okay if I call you Dan? Yes. Sinio, Dan, that is yeah. what you're used to know. Yes, yes. So Dan, where are you from exactly? Uh from Mukuroine. Uh-huh. Kaikundo. Uh -huh. That's where I went to primary school. Uh-huh. Then went to Odaya Boys for uh -huh. high school. Uh-huh. Yeah. And came to Nairobi around uh, 2006. Uh, to go to campus Zite University that time. Aha. Yes. Guys, you just hear how he's talking slow. <laughs> Maybe that's how Somalias should be speaking. <laughs> but let's hear from him, yeah? Yes, yeah. What did you do in, in college? What what were you studying? I studied uh, business administration. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, finished 2012. Uh, and then went to started working in Agokan. Uh -huh. I uh, was an intern in clients relations uh -huh. until 2015 and that's the time uh, I decided to move for uh, greener pastures in Dubai. Aha. Yes. So so how did you know, how did you know about Dubai? 
Uh, I came to know about it from uh, my workmates. Mm-hmm. One guy used to usually assisted me uh-huh. uh, to come here. Uh-huh. His brother was here in Dubai, uh-huh. uh, so we got in contact, get some visa, mm. the, the old st- the old time. Oh, so and you, you came. came to Tamak? Yes, I came with a, with a tourist visa. Uh-huh. Yeah, one month tourist visa. Oh my God! Yeah, those are the times <laughs> the times people used to take one month. And yeah. actually, it was enough, isn't it? Yeah, it was enough, but I a lot of pressure. A, a lot of pressure, yeah. and it was uh, Ramadan time, 2015 <gasps> June. Mm. So then, yeah. what work were you looking for now when you came to uh, to, to, to to Dubai to Tamak? At that time, you don't have a choice. You know, mm. you just mm. come. Uh, just to see what the future holds uh-huh. so when i came here i was uh-huh. looking for anything dropping cvs uh-huh. going all over check zai mm. all these places mm. putting your cvs everywhere but they you do literally do you know that you're not doing it the right way no? uh-huh. you know to my cv you uh-huh. don't follow up mm. they don't even call you mm. and, and it's hard it was, yeah. was kind of tough uh-huh. yeah but uh, before the visa finished i go somewhere in the french bakery French bakery. Yeah. Wow. So what were you doing in the French bakery? I was a uh, commis chef. Uh-huh. Surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever do anything about about chef being a chef? No. No. And Just here you are, you've been employed as work. <laughs> Souls are Dubai. <laughs> Souls are yeah. Dubai. Okay. So did they teach you how to do baking? Yeah, yeah they uh-huh. teach, they teach. Uh, with the program to train you mm. and to, to understand and then you know this is a job mm. you have to do it so yeah. you have to really yeah. be open to learn yeah so and you know you are here because you want to provide for family back at home true so i had to learn yeah, how to do everything it's, mm. it's not really hard job mm-hmm. you're, mm. you're shown the recipe you know what to do every mm. day you have so you just routine. you just mix and every day you do the same thing it's the same so day. you get into yeah. the system and yep. that's it how long did you stay there uh two years Two years. Yeah. And then? Then I decided uh, it's not really for me. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the pressure in the kitchen is uh, quite a lot. The guys who are chefs, they understand this. Uh, There's a lot of pressure in the kitchen from the wow. chefs. Mm. You need to deliver so many products because there's a bakery. Yeah. You deliver to so many restaurants mm. in Dubai. Mm. So with the pressure, and then I decided, mm, let me try a shot in a five, uh, five, five star hotel, you know. Mm-hmm. You are in Dubai, you see them, you go to eat sometime in five star and you mm. wish, wow, yeah. how will I, I, I work, work here? I wish I could work here. People work here, mm. you know, you're like, mm. people work here. Yeah. So I got my shot uh, in Renaissance Hotel uh-huh. um, and I got it as a waiter. Uh-huh. First I started as a waiter mm-hmm. in a French restaurant mm-hmm. for a Michelin star chef from US. Mm-hmm. So here I am again in a very big place. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I was there as a waiter. Mm. It was a very good experience as well. Had to learn. Yeah. Now I need to learn again how to do things. But since you're in the hospitality industry as a mm. chef, you mm. can easily adjust also it's, as a yeah. waiter. True, true. Yes. Mm. So that's how I got myself into. So you came to the front of the house. Yes, front of the Actually, house. Actually, yeah. yeah, there's always there's a back, back house, house and there's a front house. So you yes. came from the back house, which is a kitchen, yeah. and came to the front house. Yes. So now mm. here you are. Mm. You are a Somalia. Mm. How did you even get to know that? And what is a Somalia? By the way, he needs to tell us what is a Somalia <laughs> and what is the best way to yeah. pronounce that name. Sure. Mm-hmm. So uh, when I go to that place, uh, mm. Renaissance, is a, the restaurant is called Blue Blanc. It's mm. a French restaurant. Mm. Yeah. Again, surprise. It's a French. You know, I never studied French ever mm-hmm. in my life. Uh-huh. So, but you're here. Uh. Then you start kind of liking it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You are selling expensive wines, uh-huh. expensive whiskeys, expensive everything. So by expensive. that time you are still being a waiter? I now. was still a waiter. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's 2017, October. That's the time I joined. Mm-hmm. So we are here. So you get a really, little bit uh, excited to mm-hmm. understand this. Mm-hmm. You need, you need, because we are competing to make sales in mm-hmm. hospitality, mm-hmm. in restaurants. You mm-hmm. compete to make sales. Yeah. So you need to sell wines. So you yeah. need to understand what you are selling. Ah. And most of it is was French wine. Mm. Just that excitement of being in a five star, mm. uh, I started liking now to deal with wines. To actually know the to wines. Actually know the wines so that you can sell it to yes. your guests. So you can compete and sell more and understand. So wow. little by little you start learning. Uh. Uh, it's a process, mm. but you start from the basics. So yeah. tell us first what is the best way to pronounce this word Somalia and yeah if we just first of all tell us so we can get into details what a Somalia is the French they say Somalia 
Sommelier. 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 Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you're French and you can tell us, just tell us if we are saying yeah. the right way. Yes. Sommelier. Sommelier. Uh-huh. But you can just say Somalia. But it's not Somalia. Somalia. It's Somalia. Great. Sommelier. <laughs> okay. Let me call it Sommelier. Because if I call oh, it like the Sommelier. Brain, just say Sommelier. sommelier. Yeah. Because when I say Sommelier, I, I, honestly, it will sound like I'm saying Somalia. Yes. So we're going to call it Sommelier. Yes. And give, let, let me give it the gist. Yes. Sommelier. Sommelier. So, mm. you got the interest of wanting, wanting to know more about wine. Yes. So that you could be able to sell it to your guests. Yes. So where did you start from? So to start... Mm. Uh, uh, after I showed interest to the management, mm. um, you need to start now learning the courses. There are specific courses you need to learn. Mm. Most hotels in Dubai, mm. they always have that platform uh-huh. to give you those courses. Now mm. the the professional courses. Mm. So there's one course called mm-hmm. WSET. Mm. Many people who are in hospitality they understand this. Mm. It's just referred to as WSET. Yeah. So I started with that. You start with level one. Mm. It's a one day thing. You learn it within a day, one mm. full day. Mm. This is where you are taught the basics. Mm-hmm. So what is wine? Mm. What is uh, different type of grapes? Mm. Because for to understand this this field, mm. first you need to understand what is wine, mm. how is it made, mm. what are the different types of grapes. Mm. Because all matters, this, this is the foundation mm. to understand the grapes first. Yeah. You cannot sell any wine if you don't understand the grapes. So True. you start with learning the grapes, mm. then you start also you advance to understand what are the different kind of things to describe wines. Mm. With the taste, mm-hmm. with the color. Mm. Uh, with the flavors in in it, mm-hmm. it's still level one. Mm-hmm. So you did the I did one uh, level one. Mm. Then you get a certificate. Uh-huh. This certificate is not uh, it's not even uh, examined here. Mm-hmm. The the results are directly sent to London. Mm-hmm. Then they send the, send it back once uh-huh. you pass. There's uh-huh. certain pass marks you mm-hmm. need to pass. Uh-huh. Then you get so that. So it's actually controlled it's by controlled. a certain body. Yes, yeah, so yeah. many bodies that yeah. control these uh, wine uh-huh. wine wine industry there's mm-hmm. also one called court of master sommeliers mm-hmm. this is like the top one the top top yeah mm-hmm. but they work hand in hand with the they have different syllabus but mm. it's kind of the same it's the same thing mm-hmm. and then they are very competitive there are so many uh, even they have seminars ah. they even have wine tasting seminars Ooh. in london paris is mm. a really big thing mm. yes it's it's quite a big thing it's a big thing yeah with this uh, when you do level one, mm. uh, you get this pin. These are the same design, mm. the same color. It's just it's a, but usually it's that color all mm. the time. Uh-huh. Then when you do level two or dub, of WCT, you get this kind of pin in blue color. Oh. Then when you do level three, mm. it becomes green, mm. and you keep going. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, may I ask now? Let's say you you've done it here in Dubai. This is level one. Yeah. Does it mean anyone in like New Zealand who does the same is gonna get the same? It's gonna get the same pin okay. from the same company. Oh, okay. Different companies have different they give pins. Different pins. Yeah, After we get every these badges. Level when you go yeah. to the next level. Levels. Mm. Like uh, the WCT I'm talking about, it has so many levels. You need. Mm. Level one, you do level two, you do level three, mm. then you do diploma. Mm-hmm. Now, when you do the diploma, is the time now you become a master sommelier. Yeah. This mm-hmm. course is mm-hmm. the okay. pass marks is very high. Mm. Uh, it's not really easy. Uh, mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. before, you get to diploma, mm. you, you really need to to have the knowledge yeah. and because that time is about testing. When mm-hmm. you, when you are getting to master level, uh-huh. it's not now about basics. You already know everything about yeah. basics. Yeah. Yeah. You know how to sell. Now mm. it becomes more with the wine. Mm-hmm. Like these are the masters who can do something called blind test. They can do blind testing. So, you can give so them like you just blindfold them. No, 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 not oh. really blindfold. So mm-hmm. testing makes you understand the different, like uh, different structure of mm-hmm. the wine. Mm-hmm. You just don't take the wine and drink. Mm-hmm. No, you mm-hmm. need to. Uh, it has six class. It has a class. <laughs> <laughs> because wine far... in a class. <laughs> hey, where can I put learn? Let us learn from sommelier. Uh huh. Because uh, first, as uh, what we are taught, mm. was first you need to look, mm. then you need to smell, then you need to taste, and uh, you need to evaluate what you've tasted. These are the processes. Wow. So mm. if the wine, I need to first see mm. what is the color. So mm. that tells me what type of wine that is. Wow. Then. What are the intensity in the wine? But this happens very quickly. I'm mm. not gonna be staring at the wine yeah. like looking. So you already have this information such yes. that you just see it in a glass and you're yeah. able to yeah. get exactly 
Yeah. Because <laughs> mm. so in the blind testing, uh. you're given uh, different types of wine. Yeah. You don't know the name. Mm-hmm. They so don't they just show you put the them in a glass. In a glass, six wines, like in level three, six wines. Wow. This is what you're examined for to pass that exam. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to have a very clear testing profile. Yeah. Very so, clear testing mm. profile. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's where your exam to become uh to have a that the master the master the master so yeah, yeah. When you start so that. you we, what level are you now i'm supposed to do level three level three Ladies and gentlemen, here is Dan with some of his colleagues who are sommeliers as well. Now, what they're doing is just checking on a wine and trying to describe it. Yeah, so just have a listen at what they're saying and some of the things that he was explaining for you to understand exactly what they do. So the nose, Thank I you. smell uh, dark fruits, pepper, uh, something like raspberry, some plants, licorice. Licorice, yes. Mm-hmm. Then on the secondary flavors, I smell a lot of uh, peppers, spicy, cinnamon. Do you smell the leather? Maybe I smell the leather also. The leaves, yeah. Spiciness from the cinnamon, from black pepper, and also I smell some black peppers in there. Mm. On the palate, I can feel this light, like a dark wood, as you say. Lots, lots of like a black horn. Yeah. So if you're there and you're this kind of a person who can <laughs> taste something yeah. and tell exactly what that, what is, that is, I think that is something that would be a very big plus. Yes, it's you a big plus. You know the people who have a bland, is it mm. bland or what taste, like yes. our tasting anything? Yes, yes. <laughs> is there anything that would affect that? So usually mm-hmm. uh, when you go on this path, mm. some habits will uh, interfere your smelling and tasting. Aha. Uh, oh, because it also comes in with a smell. Yes. This different level, as I said, you need Come to look. Corona, don't go for that test. <laughs> you will definitely fail. <laughs> you need to understand what affects wine. You start learning even the soils, the seasons, seasons, mm. how they are done. Mm. Like it's really deep, and all of that you need to do in one. Uh, it's from this book. Yeah. yeah. This small book, you need to really understand it. What you need to book. know everything that is. Yeah, you need to understand everything that nice. is. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of writing, eh? Oh, it's a lot. This now you need to understand. When you get to this level, you need to really know. Somebody can just tell you a certain country, mm. and you need to know, like, who are the producers, the mm. wineries, mm. how which wine kind of wine they make. Yeah. Let's say you say Bordeaux in France, mm. which uh, which. Uh, What's the tasting profile? Mm. How the whole history about that yeah. wine, uh-huh. the, the the wine they use, so now the that type is of now soil. Level three. Yes, the type of soil they, mm. that is there, factors affecting it because a lot of things. Climate affects the wines. Mm. Soil affects the wine. Yeah. How the uh, uh, winemaker made the wine, nice. so you get deep. And this is not even deepest. Yeah. Diploma there's, there's, now is the world. There's, there's much more. So as a sommelier, you have to have all this knowledge. All this knowledge. For you to be able to mm. use the knowledge on the floor for people yes. who don't know how to yeah. tell about wines. Imagine this is a ground that is just full of a lot of knowledge that yeah. can really help you. Because yes. yeah, it it just imagine if you have all this knowledge and then you go for an interview in a big place like you yeah. work in? Armani Hotel. Yeah. Armani Hotel, my friend. <laughs> but yeah, imagine you have this kind of of information mm. and then you go there and you actually say that information of Konayo. if you come with someone else who does not have that information you have a bigger ground yeah yeah because you know for us kenyans is not you're not so calm into wines and yeah. all that though it's starting yeah pole pole, it is, it is. i see there's even kwanza a field that they do just grapes and they do their own wine mm. i think it's slowly coming into that yeah. and there's so many kenyans who don't know that this that, that's a big industry that people can make money from yes it that is it, yeah it is how, how is it looking for a job as a sommelier so first of all you need to get the knowledge yeah uh, when you get the knowledge you need mm. to understand the wine regions there's mm. so many factors mm. affects this bottle to be a wine mm. so when you get to that and also mm. the confidence to face the guests you, yeah. you need to understand that mm. so the chances to get a job also nowadays especially in dubai mostly mm. is a very competitive field mm-hmm. uh, because all the restaurants i believe all the fine dining restaurants mm-hmm. they have 
big position in in this field wow. head sommeliers mm. uh, sommeliers junior sommelier mm. because when you still on the low stages mm. you are just a, either wine steward or mm. a junior sommelier Wow. There are levels as well. There are levels. Yeah, there is. Nice. There's and every level, before you go to the next level, you have to do an exam. It's about how much knowledgeable you are. You are. Yes. It's not like when I do this exam, I become this. Mm -hmm. It's also the knowledge and the expertise. Mm -hmm. And when you do these courses from these different well-known organizations, mm. this is where you ace it. Like if you do an exam in Court of Master Sommeliers, mm. your chances become higher. And not just to work in Dubai, now you go on another level of London, mm. France, mm. uh, Mosul, Paris. So the main, the main reason for this video before we get into the main thing is for you to just get an opening of another insight. Something mm. else that you can actually do with yourself. Mm. Maybe study about wines. You told me that there's also beer testing. There's also beer sommeliers. <laughs> what when you want to beer? Hey. <laughs> there is a uh -huh. course, but not really famous here. Yeah? Uh -huh. Some countries, they are, they they that's a big that. thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, some countries that produce beer, you get to... Uh, there's spirits also, mm. a brand ambassador. And nowadays, this field, uh, one thing for my Kenyan friends, mm. this thing, um, this is a field that we really didn't uh, explore much in Kenya. Yeah. Nowadays, beverage side, because mm. honestly, as a, me as a hotelier, I understand mm. that most of the profits that we get in hotels is from beverage. Mm. Yes, because wow. food is the same. Mm. You go mm. to any hotel, mm. the steak remains the same. Yeah. You go to any restaurant, the steak, the steak tastes the same. Yeah. But what makes a difference in uh, in your experience mm. is what beverage you, you're having. So you can actually get into that. Yes, you can get into beverage. Yes. Study that. Yes. Because there are guys here in Dubai doing mixology. Mm. These are really oh, yes. big careers. Oh well. yes. Mixology. There's someone I'm looking. Nakwangalia mm. even. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing mixology. Yes. You'll come and tell us how this thing works. Yeah. So it's a Done. big field that mm. you, you need to explore and start thinking about it. And when you come into it, mm. you also need to have that discipline. Because first thing you need to have passion mm. and you to have discipline. Discipline. So no, no, no. no. You are testing the wine. You're doing an exam. <laughs> you cannot uh, yeah. drink that much. Um. So is uh, when we are also taught. You are taught mm. how much a man should drink, how much a lady should drink. Uh -huh. There's calculation for that. So a Somalia should have this information. Yes. Yeah. For sure. You see, your guest is so much drunk. Mm -hmm. You have that legal, uh, that responsibility uh, to understand if this guest is he's done. Now Don't this explains how mm. you dress. Yes. Tell us how you're supposed to dress as a sommelier. So, as a dress code usually is according to the company, mm -hmm. but usually it's formal because uh -huh. it's a really profit. It's a good profession. It's a big profession. It's considered really a, a top big. class profession. Oh, it's it's considered a big profession. <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh, mm. like our company usually is suits, just mm. a suit, nice suit, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, but usually I don't use these pins because also companies have their own pins, uh -huh. the brand pins and all this. But already uh, mm. you have the knowledge mm. and you're going to be going to the tables as uh -huh. well. Uh, so these professional kind of dress codes. Some people use bow ties, some places they have nice black apron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those. so that's the dress code. Let me have. ask, wine has to be opened in a certain way. Yeah. 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 This this is the wine opener, isn't it? Mm. Uh, very easy to get any supermarket. They have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a standard True. wine opener. True. We have these ones. Now we have got them specifically for us to actually learn how to open a wine because that is a class. That the, is a lesson you have to, isn't Yeah. You have to understand how the bottle is when mm. it has this, what it means. Mm. So he's just mm. going to tell us something small about this, either the bottles or any information mm. that is going to help anyone who would like to know more about Somalia, where you're going to start. So that brings me to this point mm -hmm. that there's uh, types of uh, like types of wines. Yeah. So the first type is sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sparkling wine is anything with bubbles. Okay. Anything with like champagne, sparkling mm -hmm. I talked about. Mm -hmm. So anything with that is on a classification of sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. Then there's another class of steel wine. Uh -huh. Steel wine means it's a uh, steel wines means mm. it doesn't have bubbles, yep. as simple as that. Mm. So this under uh, the classification of steel wine, mm. there is the red wine, mm. there's the white wine, mm. and there's the rosé. Uh -huh. So the red wine is made from predominantly red grapes. Mm. The white wine mm. is made by white grapes. Uh -huh. 
they're not actually white in color it's mm. the green ones mm. yeah mm. so that makes the white wine ah. but also to confuse mm. you mm. white wine can also be made by red grapes uh-huh. what do you do you just squeeze the juice from the red grapes because the juice from a grape if you mm. eat a grape from inside is mm. white yes it's not red inside True. it's True. only the skin yeah, yeah the rosé uh-huh. the rosé here we go the rosé i know ladies you love rosé this yeah ladies you love rosé yeah uh, so rosé Mm. It will be made from this grape, mm. but very less contact, mm-hmm. short time. Mm. This one was full time, but to make this is mm. less time. Okay, yes, it it's made the same way, same but way. just stored Small for a time. short time. Yeah. Oh that's, my God, this, this is a lot of information, guys. Yes. I'm sure there are people who might not understand Tunongea Nini. Last one. Yeah. That is now sweet wine. Mm. Guys, oh. when you go to a restaurant, don't say I want a sweet red wine, sweet white wine. Mm. That's a different thing you're talking about. Uh-huh. You're talking about sweet wine. This mm. is a class of sweet, sweet wine. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's very high in alcohol. Uh-huh. They, oh, add, yeah. they add a little bit of alcohol in it yeah, so to make it sweet. Is, is it good? Is it, would I call it a dessert wine? <laughs> That's a point. Oh, I like you. <laughs> you understand this? I know these things. <laughs> That's the oh, dessert wine now. It feels good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is a dessert wine. This is a dessert wine. Good to be taken like right after you finished all your eating and then yes. just with the with the dessert. As they say, mm. as the word say goes, mm. dessert wine. Don't make a mistake of using that when you're starting your your meal. Your meal, after za kukula. Za kukula. The, the sugar is too much. So don't uh, don't go there. Uh, uh, Omeskia wines. Uh, give me anything sweet. Put a little dessert. <laughs> yeah. And the words to use, the mm. the best words to use, mm. is you say dry or a little bit off dry. Okay. You say dry or off dry. The people will see. Wow, you understand wines. Mm. Don't say sweet wine. Mm. Sweet wine is that dessert wine. Okay. Yeah. Say dry. That's yeah. the difference now mm. with the taste. One thing I will tell you and mm. co- try to confuse you with mm-hmm. is. Uh, all champagnes mm. are sparkling, but mm. not all sparklings are champagne. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I get that right? Yes. At the old, all, 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 uh-huh. all champagnes. All champagnes. All of them uh. are sparkling. Okay. But not all sparkling wines are champagnes. Oh yeah, now I get it. Now you get it. Now I get it. Yeah. Good, good so, to know that. That's it. Sasa, mm. teach us how to open this. Yes. Tafungwa, at least moja, mm. just one, show us mm. how to open yeah. and then we can, and how to serve it as well. Okay. Mm. So, uh, mm. so um, when you go also to buy wine, mm. you need to also check how is it uh, sealed. Uh-huh. Because this, when you see with this foil, it means it has a cork inside. Mm. A cork like that one. This one. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you don't have a wine open at home, don't buy this one. Because there's no way you're gonna open it. Buy this one. Buy the screw cup. Yeah, buy the screw cup. Yeah. This one, well, sparkling wine always comes like that. With a cork. Because yeah. there's a lot of thing, uh, a lot of things happening in that bottle. Mm. There's a lot of pressure. Kuna mm. pressure mob. Uh, because they 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 make this carbon dioxide. Uh-huh. And the the good thing, the flavor of this wine mm. is the bubbles. Mm. It's what you celebrate on weddings, uh-huh. anniversary. Yeah. Without bubbles, yes, without Don't bubbles, ask how I know that. <laughs> uh-huh. Without the bubbles, it's uh. just a normal white wine. Uh-huh. Okay. This is a simple thing. They just make the white wine, mm. but they do something else, second fermentation uh, to okay. make it with the bubbles. Uh, okay. To keep the bubbles. Right? Awesome. awesome. So to open this, mm. there's always be this. This is to this guide ribbon. you. Yeah, where you need to. We need to tear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You do that. You click that. Then you just need to tear whatever you're comfortable with, like that. Take it off. Mm. Then there will be this kind of cage. You always sparkling. They have this cage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Then you need to hold here. Mm. Never make a mistake of. Ah, let me start opening. Yeah. You need to hold. So you do with your thumb. You need to have a strong grip yeah. with your thumb. You unscrew this one. Mm-hmm. When you unscrew it. Now the pressure starts building because you have moved this. Yeah. This was what this what was sealing this oh, bottle. Yeah. So to open any sparkling, hmm. you twist the bottle, not the cup. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, you understand? Yeah. You don't twist this like I start mm. twisting this. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. You hold in one position, you start twisting mm. the bottle. See? I'm twisting. 
while holding tight while on holding there. tight mm. and now it's pressing my thumb mm -hmm. you can see it's moving because sorry it you see yeah it's moving see ah. see see you need to have a grip True. then you need to have that sound Aha. not so. small grip that's mm -hmm. it your wine will not uh, be damaged mm. there will be now cocks going inside there mm. and you're not losing wine popping yeah. if you want to pop with a celebration just okay. for sure just for just sure just shake it shake it shake it shake it and you <laughs> wash everyone with it you wash <laughs> everyone you'll have only yeah. one glass left for mm. that but if mm. you need to enjoy it nicely yes you have that and to serve sparkling wine you need to have oh this is a glass for this is the glass really it's called a flute Ooh, yes the flute Mm. This is smaller. There's other bigger type. It mm. should have a longer stem. Stem. Mm. Yeah. Because you don't want. You need to be as far away mm. to the wine as possible. Yeah. That's why you go, ladies, when you go for a dinner cocktail, you need mm. to hold nicely. You know. Mm. That's why they have uh, the stem is not really small. Mm. There's other. The standard one should have a very long stem. A longer. That's okay. type. So you saw. Okay. Yes. According to the type of glass you have, mm. but three quarter. To open uh, steel wines mm. with a cork, mm. you need a screw cup. I mean, a cork screw, mm. or just a normal, just a call it normal wine opener. Mm. So it looks like that. So it will have this knife. Yeah? With the knife, mm. you have a nice grip. Go on one side like that. Cut a cup and you cut it, then cut one slit there, vertical one, mm -hmm. then you peel. Then you peel this. That's it. You see how clean that is? Yeah. You peel, you peel that. Mm -hmm. Close your knife, then you get this cork screw. Mm. Then it has an edge. Mm. With that edge, you put it inside. Just then do that. Uh -huh. Then when it's vertical, mm. you just move easily. No need to put any pressure on it. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Then now with this, you start with the first step here. Mm. You can see the my wine opener it has mm. two stages. Mm. You start with the first stage, have a nice grip, mm. move nicely like that. Hold it. Hold it. Go to the second stage and finish. Don't go all the way. Mm -hmm. When you're almost done, you twist wow. your, your cup. You will not break it mm. because some wines mm. are really old. Mm. If you really uh, mess around with this cork, mm. mm. you're gonna be getting uh, uh, dust inside the wine. Mm. Okay, mm. that's it. See, simple. Then yeah. remove it. And when you're in a re when you're in a restaurant, mm. they should give you this to check. Mm -hmm. You should always check this. You make sure it's in good condition. Mm. You see, it's not wet. If you ever go to a restaurant and the corks, uh, the cork is wet or smell damp like a damp carton mm -hmm. or is wet here or looking gray in mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. you need to return that wine uh -huh. yes you see it's clean yeah mm -hmm. you can see even your previous coat is also clean mm -hmm. yeah but if it's mm -hmm. gray in color or really wet like it's damp mm -hmm. inside that means uh, the integrity of the coke is not good and the integrity of the wine mm -hmm. is not good as well okay. it means that wine it is oxidated, it doesn't store well wow. because it's a uh, way to store the wines in mm. nice fridge. Mm. Yes, and that's it. Simple. So, this one is served in a glass like this one, yeah, right? in a glass like that. Mm -hmm. So, with this you hold nice grip there mm -hmm. and taste the glass. Like the first thing, uh, they will give you that much to taste. Mm. They just uh, so I see them doing that, yeah, you mm -hmm. do that smell the wine you get the flavors you taste your wine and then they will serve you more, mm -hmm. they will serve you more. and then that much we serve 150 you know just simple like that and 
that's it. You see oh, also that the, is okay. You see also the stem of the wines? Yeah. Because for white wines, mm. you need to be as far away mm. from the wine as mm. possible. Mm. So that you don't warm it. You cannot be holding like this. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be Except chilled. Except for the yeah, red wine. Except for the red wine. Yeah. If you were <laughs> using that way, for a white wine, you will look stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Did he just say that? <laughs> yes. So, if you go to a wine and, then, and you're holding your white wine like white this, white wine, they will know you don't yeah. know. Wow. You drink easily. Mm. For the same with the. I wish the stem was bigger, but mm, uh, it's, it's okay. okay. With that, yeah. The same with that. Don't warm this wine like mm, that. Mm. For the red wine, it's a different story. Mm. Some old red wines, you need to actually warm it. Mm. And actually, the glass for red wine is a little bit bigger. You will see yeah. there are different shades of glasses. Mm. The shape for the red wine yeah, is bigger. It's, it's bigger because true. they need to give more oxygen, yeah. more air into the wine yeah. to give flavor and body to the wine. But ah. usually for the white wine, it's mm. smaller because you need to concentrate the flavors in the small place. Mm. And you might wonder why this glass is also like that. Because mm. this one, mm. you need to serve the bubbles. Mm. You need to, I mean, to hold them longer. Mm. That's why the, the... Oh, that is why it's a, it's it's like a, a smaller glass of yeah. fruit. Mm. Because you need the bubbles. You see, yeah. we serve this wine over 10 minutes ago, it's still and there. And it's still bubbling. It's still bubbling. If it was in a bigger place, then the bubbles the, the would bubbles disappear are, quickly. Because the bubbles, yeah. they explode. Mm. When they are living in this place, mm. uh, from the bottom of the glass to yeah. the top, yeah. they explode when they come at the top. Mm -hmm. That's why they, you lose them. Because it's glass, it's carbon dioxide. Sure. Yes. So don't be holding your champagne glass there. Like this. No. <laughs> Just hold from down, easy. Whatever yeah. is comfortable for you. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think this is more classy. Yeah. Like, you yeah. Know, like more this. Classy. Yeah. Mm. Not like this. Hey guys, we have come now to the end of all this information. Guys, the reason why I brought down here is just for you to get an insight of something else, something different that a Kenyan can do as well. He's a sommelier and doing very well, almost going for his third level. He started like anyone. He just had the zeal. He wanted to know Akajituma. Akajitu, Akajituma because he wanted to be a better seller when it comes to wine. Mm. So maybe you could be out there and like, ah, I, I think I can use my my tasting kind of gift to mm. do this kind of a job. Mm. What's it? Mm. Get out there and do it. Yes, yeah, so Dan, mm. just give us your parting shot. What would you tell some young person out there who is yeah. hearing this word Somalia for the first time, yeah. which we've, we've learned there's so many things of Somalia. Mm. Yes. What would you tell that kind of a person? Uh, just uh, I know there are many people. Uh, you have uh, there are a lot of people. Uh, you have your degrees, you did BCom, all these things, yeah. and you're stuck back at home. You don't know what where to start. The yeah. jobs are not there in Kenya. Mm. So these are kind of things you can go to uh, mm. sommeliers, mm. Uh, beverages, uh, mixology, spirits, all these courses. Yeah. Uh, don't get the notion that uh, people will think, oh no. Uh, um, the guy now is drinking a lot. No, mm -hmm. it's just a course that you do and it's a job, professional job. Yeah. You will be highly professional, especially here in Dubai yeah. and other parts of the world, not yeah. just here. Yeah. It's a well-recognized thing. Mm. Uh, so don't be stuck there. Look for other things to do. Yeah. For me, I'm a have business administration. I never practice it. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, when you're stuck there, do mm. other things. Jitume, jitume. Right. Yeah, there's so many things you can do. Mm. And you'll be surprised how much your brain can handle. You learn new field that you'll be surprised. Wow, yeah. I didn't even know this exists. Yeah. So, and it will lead you to so many places. And I encourage everyone, don't lose hope. I came here without any form, sin mm. a form, sin a form. And, and here uh, you are yeah, yeah. doing very well in yes. Amani, guys. That's not a small one. It's a big, big in Baj Khalifa, right? Baj Khalifa, yes. Yeah, yeah, man. So mm. thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Yes, we yeah, really man. appreciate what you've done. Yes. And I hope, guys, you've learned something. Sawa. Yeah. So thank you so much for staying here until now. This is Shirowa Dome. Keep learning. Yeah. Keep getting the information. Till next time. Ciao.